The quest to diversify the nation's economy has redirected government focus towards mechanized farming. Hence, there is need of trained professionals in the agriculture sector to enhance mechanized agriculture in order to promote best agriculture practices, provide adequate income for farmers. Also, there is an urgent need for massive cultivation equipment and services to achieve this lofty idea of the government. An agro-allied company, Agro Nigerian Venture Limited, Anvil Tractor Academy, with the mandate to mechanize agriculture at all levels, has come up with a program tagged a Greek service provider scheme geared towards imparting practical knowledge through active participation in the learning process. That is, learning by doing. 90% of this training is practical, while only 10% is theoretical. Amvi Tractor Academy has been organizing trainings and seminars for agri service providers in higher institutions for stakeholders in the agriculture sector across some states in the country. The aim of the Amvi Tractor Academy training is aimed at training and empowering many young school leavers as agri service provider, also providing the much needed mechanized agricultural services for land preparation to the large pool of farmers who are still using cutlass and oats to prepare their farms. It also aims at encouraging banks and other private sector. Training on agricultural machinery operation is also to develop and make skilled tractor operators available. Trainees are also expected to be exposed to skill acquisition on tillage and post-tillage operations. And last but not the least, to develop and instill maintenance culture and record keeping in the trainees through practical involvement. The duration of the training is eight weeks and the following equipment, which will be provided by MV Tractor Academy, will be used for the training. Power tiller, four-wheel tractor and implement, motorized sprayer, mini combined rice harvester, mini rice reaper, global positioning system, GPS for measuring of farmland. Training methodology, theoretical classes will cover 10% of the training period, while practical classes will cover 90%. The course is to be implemented through lecture, intensive practical sessions, and field trips. On the part of the participants, the participants are expected to have a minimum educational qualification of all levels to ensure their ability to handle the technical training. Pay 5,000 Naira for the application form for the training, while applicants are also expected to pay 50,000 Naira for training fee. Provide personal guarantee for the equipment loan. After certification as agri service providers, the participants will organize themselves into cooperative groups. Each member of the cooperative group will acquire a part tiller on a lease purchase arrangement for the service delivery to farmers. On the part of the Federal Government of Nigeria, CBN and Bank of Industry, under the CBN Youth Empowerment Program, the Federal Government is expected to provide farms for the purchase of agriculture equipment under a lease purchase arrangement. While on the part of the state government, the state government is expected to provide five acres of cleared agricultural land on lease basis for each participant in the local government area. While on the part of the Agro Nigerian Venture Limited, Anvil will provide equipment for the training. After certification of the agricultural service providers, will also source for the Kubota Power Tula to be supplied to the participants, ensure adequate supply of spare parts for the equipment, and maintain a service agreement with each cooperative group to ensure that the equipment is regularly serviced. The Chief Executive Officer of Anvil, Chief Adirie said that the training will help to produce certified agricultural service providers that will propel agriculture in Nigeria to an enviable height. The training is about uh, empowering our young people to become what we call a Greek service provider. The idea is to train them on how to run their own business how to operate the power tiller and some other agricultural equipment and after the training to find some of the banks that can empower them in buying their own power tiller and offering services to farmers in their rural area and also having their own farm. The, the funding is really from the Central Bank of Nigeria. Central Bank is trying to empower a lot of young people into self-employment 
and these funds are being managed by Bank of Industry, Heritage Bank, uh, Fidelity Bank, and quite a few other banks. And it's all tailored towards empowerment of young people into self-employment opportunity. And agriculture is one of the areas that these funds are being able to be diverted to. And that's the main reason why we are teaching them on this uh, mechanized agriculture program. Also speaking, the academic director, Mr. Yakubu Agubiade, and administrative director, Mrs. Aderie, said the program will help reduce youth rural urban migration and enhance economic activities of each state. And also we help farmers to have easier access to mechanized agricultural services within their localities. Well, the program is about training our youth in a great service provider. We, we, we have a new equipment for farming products and that we want to train people who can handle this equipment perfectly. And that's uh, maintenance, using it, hiring it out, everything, theory, we are training every, the youth. But not only the youth, people who are retired people also can join, male or female. Non-employed graduate, there are so many in the town. But when they come here, even the federal government is already putting a lot of programs in action so that farming should be part and parcel of our system in this country. We don't have to depend on a foreign countries importing food. That's why we said all youth should form a part and parcel of the program to be self-employed in terms of agriculture. My role as administrator is just to um, ensure the smooth flow of, um, of all the activities of the program, which includes the, uh, lecture, the lectures, the practicals, and um, the final submission of the business plan by the trainees. Some of the participants also have this to say. This program has been a wonderful one. Under this program, we have learned how we can stand on our own as an entrepreneur, even most especially in the agri business and generally. So we have learned how we can improve and be a mechanized farmer. My advice for the female that are still roaming about the streets is that you know, we have a lot of opportunity in agro-business. Agriculture, is, it has a lot of opportunity that they can exploit. We've acquired basic procedural knowledge that is needed to start and run and manage a business. In particular, by going into the practical aspect of our uh, cultural business, which is agriculture. So by now you can see that the, the, the Hanvi and the ALF in conjunction, they've worked thoroughly in changing our mindset to see agri as a business and to be able to operate and to contribute to the national GDP and to be able to, be, to become a self-reliance and a prior of labor rather than searching for a particular job that is not necessary. Um, part of the force trainee because uh, this is um, a kind of program that AMVL is running to encourage youth participation in you know in agricultural things. Um, this training has helped us to be in group, to to explore team work, and um, some of us are practically farmers already. Some are just coming into farming, so we've exchanged a lot of ideas, practical ideas, that's on our part. Then on the part of the ANVL, ANVL is such a wonderful establishment that has tried to use different methods to make sure that this program works. Uh, my last word for people for, is that come to ALF. ALF has changed my mentality about farming. Farming is not the way our father said the way they were doing it, farming now is a business, an international business for that matter, a business that has the highest return on investment. If you will believe in yourself and believe in AMVL and believe in any promoter of agribusiness in Nigeria. 